And we're ready to rock, Mr. Ross. Chip, check, one, two, one, two. That's been hot the whole time? Nope, I just turned it on. Oh, that's okay. I wish I would have been abusing that. Hey guys, can you hear me back at the pool table? Sorry. I'm so sorry. I apologize. You guys, I'm sure you'd much rather have uh, fucking... Who is it that does Bullet to the Bone, Sir What? Bullet to the Bone? No, I'm still Twilight Zone. Bullet to the Bone. Fucking the uh, Golden Earring. Oh man, Golden Earring is way better to play pool to than this shit. I'm so sorry, but uh, we will be doing a podcast for quite a minute here. Hey guys, what's up here, Nanog? And if you're listening at home, that is the full force response that could have been expected from who is here tonight. And that's fine, because you guys are you're listening to a podcast, you're used to nobody being here, so fuck you. A couple people this look better than nobody. If you are listening to this at home, later, downloaded the comfort of your home, thank you, Mickey. That's uh, through the magic of Mickey. You can find him online and thank him. Uh, right now, live here at the Tierna Knock, let's have a big round of applause for Sareth Nay, everybody. Give it up for Sareth. For either bringing you out here for comedy tonight or ruining your pool game with a podcast. <laughs> Sareth May. Sareth. We'll, we'll get to you in a little bit. Uh, I'm, allowed, I'm allowed to pick anybody or anybody's like fully. If you explained this to anybody, because you damn sure didn't explain it to me. Just have guests Just on. Just have guests on. If I got your name on the sheet of paper and Sareth hasn't crossed it out, I can call on you, right? Everybody's been informed. Minnie, get up here. We're going to bring up first a comedian, local guy named Minnie. Woo! Woo! I don't know that guy. What's up, man? Minnie, hey. do you like saying your real name at all, or you just go by Minnie? Or uh, are you trying to call I got me? warrants, so usually I don't say my name, but uh, I will. <laughs> Listen, if you're funny enough, you can cultivate that one name shit, and you can be Monique, you can be, you can do that. I'm trying to get there. Yeah, I'm not yeah. there yet, because people still ask me for my actual fucking name. But I'll get there one day. Uh, but yeah, man, uh, Roberto Font is my real name. Oh, shit. Leaves it. Yes, exactly. They Search him, him up in the database, see if you can make 20 bucks riding him out to the popo. You will get a lot of uh, white males with that <laughs> name, <laughs> and one brown one, and that's me. Uh, so yeah, search me up. You'll find me real quickly. All right, uh, Minnie, were you b- born in Florida, or how'd you end up here? I was born in Puerto Rico. Born in Puerto Rico. 1986. By 1986, my mom had moved me to uh, California. To California? Yes. And then how'd the, how the Florida move happen? Uh, she, re- she moved to California for a better life and realized she didn't do that good because she's moving to South Central. She's like, I like the ocean, but not <laughs> this one. Yeah, no, she moved me to the worst place she could have moved me to in 96. And uh, so she realized that and moved me to Florida. Was it any particular event or just like the general 96 vibe of it all? Was 96. it like the riot, the riot happened and she's like, we're getting the fuck out of here. The crazy like, thing is I came right after the riots, uh-huh. but just in time for uh, gang violence in, in <laughs> Crenshaw. So, so it's just in time for the blood and grip riots. Any good earthquakes? Because that's the trifecta. And did you live through any good earthquakes while you're out there? No, I didn't get one of those. Mm. Uh, unless you count the AKs going out. <laughs> unless you count the thunder from that. Uh, but no, 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 no earthquakes. I was, I was clear of that. And then you guys did a reverse Fresh Prince, California to the East Coast. Facts. Mm-hmm. Okay. <laughs> Facts. Now, Manny, it just came up. We were talking before the show, and you're you're like I am, a Halloween Horror Nights fan. Yes, sir. And uh, you're excited to go to Halloween Horror Nights. What do you like about Halloween? What's it about Halloween for you? For me, how, see, that's, that's the thing, and I'll get into it when we do the stand-up. Halloween is like, it was my life growing up. Like, my mom did not believe in any kind of, uh, like, most kids grew up watching Barney and shit like that and Flintstones mm-hmm. and stuff. I was watching, uh, what, Portuguese at the age of five. Really? Yeah, so Halloween, horror movies, all that stuff has been my life. Home. I didn't know there was anything other than that until I grew older. So, uh, yeah, Halloween's my shiznit, man. And then you like uh, Halloween Horror Nights. How many times have you been to Horror Nights? Too many damn times. Uh, it's probably the only place that I've got kicked out and convinced them to let me back in. Uh-huh. <laughs> you were now kicked out by staff or kicked out by kicked cops out. from Horror Nights? Because there's, there's a difference. There is a difference. <laughs> and it was both. Um, <laughs> I got kicked out when I was like, what was like 25? I'm 36. Okay. So I got kicked out for punching someone in the nose. But it was... It was oh, in a house? Yeah, in a house. But it was back in the days when they could touch you. Remember those days? Okay, that's a little bit before my time. And so it was like one of those days where they could, back in the back of the days where they could touch you. And like, when I mean I don't touch know that you, that day technically ever existed, but keep going. Best, best facts, <laughs> facts. And I mean like barely touch you. So he like glanced. Me okay, like a little I, brushing here and there was loud. I could see that. And I had a little PTSD from day. Crenshaw and just uh-huh. threw the left hook and I connected. Uh, I didn't think I would because I'm so sure my reach is horrible. Uh-huh. But I hit him dead in the nose and he started crying. I've never seen. Uh-huh. A, 
<laughs> never seen a vampire cry in my life until that day. And by the way, the tears are not blood. They're actual real tears. Um, so yeah, he ran and told and I got kicked out. Yeah, and, uh, I'll tell you, uh, you want to hear uh, what's behind the scenes? Because I've worked at, I've worked as a character at like, Universal. Ahead. And uh, the only time I ever got seriously punched was fucking, I had a real good uh, room where I could hit, I could hit somebody three times if I wanted to. I had like, I had like beginning, middle, and end That's of the so room. dirty. That is so dirty, because I know you enjoyed the shit out of it. Oh, it was the funnest fucking thing I've ever done. If, uh, <laughs> If I die and there is a god and I get to go to heaven, I will be the eyeball go guy in the psychopath house for all eternity. <laughs> just scaring the shit out of the damned, I assume, or the heavenly who enjoy that. But so I had three I had three spots I could hit, like beginning, middle, and end. Like Fact. a little path through the room, and I could hit him at the beginning, middle, and end, kind of an L. Gotcha. And uh, this girl came in and I hit her at the beginning and she screamed <laughs> she screamed so hard the fucking roof blew off the place and I was like <laughs> I was like, Well shit, I'm gonna duck back and take two seconds to the right and do that again. Fact. And I did. I hit my second hole and I popped out again. She screamed even fucking louder, dude. And I was like, well, I'm a fool if I don't like take advantage of this while it's you know Patrick. still within four feet of my range. And when I, I took two steps to the right again and I popped out and her boyfriend was ready for me and punched me square in the fucking face, dude. Uh, he popped me hard. And like, I, I actually, I scared her and I saw it coming and I leaned out of it a little bit, but he got me good. And we'll have, I duck back, and like the exit is right fucking there. Right. I just stepped out to the exit, and they teach you to look for their shoes. Because uh, motherfuckers will take their hat off, they'll take their shirt off. That's how they got me. They can't I did their, not know the Jordans. You can't take your fucking <laughs> shoes off. So yeah, Damn I went, it. and I was like, yeah, it's the guy with the fucking Jordans, and that guy got you yeah. and fully prosecuted. It was awesome. <laughs> I didn't, mine was, uh, yeah, I didn't get fully prosecuted, thank God for that one, because that would have been a horrible reason to go to jail. I'm already five foot three. Imagine explaining that. What are you in for? Uh, I punched a vampire. <laughs> Don't rape me yet. <laughs> I punched a glitter vampire in Masquerade Nights and Halloween Horror Nights, yeah. It was glorious. Um, They're going to take your commissary, dude. But yeah, no, no, no. I, 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 the guy was huge. I punched, but the guy was like at least a good 5'10". And they just saw him, saw me, and they right, kind of like, he's yeah. Jim Hughes with, like, a dance background. He's not, like, a scrapper. That is a true, hard, nice. true statement. <laughs> <laughs> all right, of all the years you've ever been, what was your favorite year or and or house? What did you like about uh, Halloween Horror Nights the best? Oh, damn it, that's a hard-ass question. To me, that is. You make top three. You can, you can go through your top three in no particular order. <sighs> just to make it a little easier. All right, dude, I'll just go with one last. Well... Hmm. I would say the, the last time I went, the best house was it was uh, it was the 25th anniversary, and they did a 25th anniversary house with all the classic monsters. That's a good one. And going that in, I wasn't one. super excited. I was like, okay, great, we're gonna see Frankenstein for the millionth fucking time. Oh, <laughs> we're gonna do the Wolfman again. But it was fucking awesome. They did nice little vignettes for all the monsters, and all the monsters got that's, scared. That was a good one. And they, they really fucking nailed it in the 25th anniversary. That was a few years ago. I would say yeah, that's a good one. I would say Chase out uh, um, Massacre. That's good. The early Walking Dead, that's the other one that's my favorite. Dude, the last year I worked Horror Nights, I, uh, Walking, it was the first year they did Walking Dead? Second year they did Walking Dead? Okay. I don't remember. So somewhere in the first three years they did Walking Dead, and we did this corporate event where it was like our house and the Walking Dead houses were the only ones open. Nice. And I got cut loose a little bit early, and I walked through the Walking Dead house, and the path was like two fucking miles long, and there was like 300 fucking zombies in there. Fans, I loved it. I was terrified. I, I was having it. a Fucking panic attack in it. See, they did all this shit where like it was real close. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Through, and there's goddamn zombies clawing at you. It was it amazing. Was terrifying. No, see, this thing you weren't prepared for. It. See, I live in California, Skid Row, my man. Walk down Skid Row, same shit. It's like 300 zombies all trying to touch you, trying to get some change. I'm telling you, it's, I was prepared. I loved it. I was like, I'm back home. All right, Minnie, uh, you ever seen a ghost or a UFO? Uh, I've seen a, ghost. a UFO, yes. I've seen a UFO before. Um, and I swear to God it was a UFO. I saw it one time. I'm coming back home. It was like uh, sunset. I see a big-ass orange light here. Surround light. And I'm thinking, obviously, that's the sun coming down. Then I turn to my right and I see the actual sun. I'm like, what the fuck was that? And it moved. Bitch, I peed. Oh. <laughs> To this day, that's I, I will never like anybody says, Oh, are you a fool? Are fake? Wait, fuck you. I used to think they used to be fake too until I saw that shit. I believe it. I swear. Great answer. And everybody say it with me. Fuck you, Sean Fennerty. All right. Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> 
Sean Finnerty famously said that was the dumb question that was ever seen a ghost or UFO. Fuck you, Ross. Fuck you, Sean Finnerty. <laughs> yeah. Give it up for many of you guys. Many. Woo! Thank you. Oh yeah, I should probably, uh, Sareth, I think I yelled at you for this last time. You got to introduce your podcast up front. This is the Orlando Talk Show with me, Ross McCoy. Uh, Tots with Ross, hashtag T-O-T-S uh, with Ross. 